and go. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Forge Gaming Podcast number 24, hopefully. Uh, once again, I am here with Troy or Olamande. What's up? What's up? What's up? Troy was supposed to go on vacation today, but uh, he's here with us. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'll be out of here. Peace. I'm out of here. <laughs> he's out. So, live streams and anything like that sort of thing, it'll just be me here for a little bit, unless he finds some way to do it up there. Um, I guess you could stream on uh, Beam or something. As long yeah. as you have the internet, you know you don't really need the PC or anything or Twitch. I'm but gonna take I'm gonna take the whole PC with me. Yeah, just take that real quick. Take the giant PC with me. I don't know if you guys. Somebody last time was asking uh, if they could see what our game room looks like. I'll try to give you a brief overview. There's my setup. It's probably really close up. There's Troy over there. Say hi, Troy. Hello. <laughs> and uh, the couch for the usual podcasts and all that stuff up there. Um, so yeah, that's the PC that he's gonna bring. Just has to bring us an extra yeah. suitcase, and uh, that's all that. Why even bother putting in a suitcase? <laughs> so uh, Troy, why don't you tell us what we're gonna be talking about today? All right, today we're gonna be talking about the Xbox Project Scorpio. Um, the specs have been released, and that's about all we got. We haven't got. Yeah. Any, there's still no name, no price. Um, but we do know that it is a beast of a machine. It sure is. I mean, I I was a little bit disappointed that all we got was specs, but you know, judging by what the specs showed us, I am uh, pretty hyped. Also, I still have the dinosaur original Xbox One. I never got the uh, Xbox One S like Troy has. So I'm actually looking at getting a new one. Got um, that, that Gears of War. Yeah, okay, all fancy. This guy's got how many Xboxes in your house? Three. One 360 and two Xbox Ones? Yeah. And then what, you got a Wii? Got a Wii. Got a Wii U. And, and PS4. PS4. PS2. And uh, Nintendo. Nintendo. Nintendo 64, 64. Sega Genesis. Yeah, so there's probably, I want to say close to 10 consoles in this house, not including handhelds. Oh, anyways. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget the freaking 2DS. Yes. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, you know, I was hoping to, you know, I was hoping to see visuals and all this stuff, but you know, we uh, we figured out that this thing, like Troy said, is going to be a beast of a piece of hardware. <laughs> I mean, uh, and software, I think, you know, the just the capabilities of it. The capabilities of software. Yeah. We're still, I think, Microsoft is still lacking a little bit in the software department. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that. A lot of the games that probably should have launched with the Scorpio yeah. came out last year, right? Um, along with uh, Gears of War, we were just talking about. Yeah, um, and you know, one of the things that we've talked here on the channel about quite a bit in the past is you know, consoles, especially the Microsoft consoles, becoming more and more PC-like over time. Yeah, you know, with uh, with them having you know the. Uh, well, they had the Xbox Live Arcade that we're still waiting to come back. We th- we think it's gonna we th- we think that's gonna be announced at E3. Arcades. But you think that's gonna be? You announced. told me that you thought that. No, what I'm saying is I'm saying Steam. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that, that's Steam. essentially which, the which same is thing. like Xbox Arcade on steroids. Yeah. Yeah. So we get all the fun, quirky indie games and all that stuff. If somebody out there can get Steam to work on Xbox One. You're a genius. I'm pretty sure it's possible. Eh, anything's possible. Um, so, <clears throat> Troy, you're more, uh, you know, tech savvy with a lot of the stuff that's talked about here and these specs. And uh, we're gonna put on the screen at some point here what the specs actually look like compared to the Xbox One and the PS4. Um, so, Troy, comparing, let's just say, j- just the CPU. You know, we've got. PS4 Pro, 8 Jaguar cores, clocked 2.1 gigahertz, uh, and then we got the Xbox One original, 8 custom Jaguar cores, clocked at 1.75, and then the Project Scorpio tops both of them at 2.3 gigahertz. What do you expect to see out of that? Um, look, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what half of this crap means. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's do it. laughs> but, but, um, I mean, just, I mean, just looking at the numbers, from eyeballing it. Um, the thing is definitely more powerful than the PS4 Pro. Um, it looks like it's totally blowing it out of the water. 
Um, this thing is basically a high-end PC. Yeah, I mean, if you continue to look down this list, and we'll, we'll keep it on the screen for a little while just so you guys can uh, kind of get an idea if you want to pause and, you know, look at it for a second. Um, but, you know, memory is, you know, what is it, four, to four more gigabytes of uh, RAM space, which is huge because a lot of people get confused by you know, the internal memory of, of a console, and then like the, uh, the, I don't even know how you would, the, the memory of the, um, the RAM, or whatever. Oh, though. compared to the hard drive? Yeah. Oh, and, people, like, oh yeah. Yeah, you know, people might look at this and be like, what, the Xbox One has eight gigabytes of storage? No, that's no. the RAM. So, um, I can already hear people freaking correcting us in the comment section for oh, all this that's, stuff. That's perfectly fine. That's Correct fine. me. Yeah, you, Correct guys, me. you guys tell us. Um, you jumped out of the memory bandwidth. I'm just looking at the numbers here. It skyrockets past the PS4 Pro and especially past the uh, Xbox One. Um, one terabyte hard drive, uh, same as the, um, or sorry, one terabyte 2.5 inch hard drive, same as the PS4 Pro. And here's the big kicker, yeah. the optimal drive, 4K UHD Blu-ray, okay? Dude, now, look, here's the thing that got me about the PS4 Pro, and which is the reason why I ended up not getting it. I just have a regular PS4, which I'm totally content with because the PS4 runs great and it looks awesome. But how do you not, how do you call something up? Pro. You were explaining to me what they actually did with it. You said that uh, essentially they had, you know, they had said it was going to be 4K, but the games were actually just like... Uh, rendered up. Rendered up to 4K. Rendered they weren't 4K. actually being like redone It's not 4K. true 4K. It's not true 4K. Now, I'm kind of one of those simplest people, if that's the word, that doesn't really... I can't really identify that much of a difference between 1080p, 60 frames per second, and 4K. Yeah. I, I, can, I can identify frame rate. Yeah, when I can I'm playing the game. I can, I can frame identify, rate absolutely. Frame rate. Um, I have a really hard time identifying 720 to 1080p. It's almost the same to me. Yeah. Um, 1080p to 4K is almost the same to me if I eyeball it. Yeah. I can tell the difference between 720 and 4K. Yeah. So I'm looking at. I can, at, I can see, I the the difference difference I see the difference there. Like it, clear. If you guys are familiar with PC at all, um, a lot of times what happens whenever you're customizing, you know what the frame rate and all that looks like. Um, unless you have a super high-end power PC, you usually have to choose a higher frame rate or a higher quality, you know, pixelation quality. You know, very few PCs out there can run 1080p and 60 frames per second. A lot of times you can render it up to 1080p and 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second and 720p, Yeah, something like that. But this is talking about native 4K UHD Blu-ray, the whole thing. My question is, will you get the option to choose frame rates? Um, like I on mean, a PC, you can do. Yeah, I mean, will you, you, can will you have on, the option to choose? If you play something like Black Ops 2 on a on a PC, you can actually go to your settings and change all that stuff from the yeah. in-game settings. You know, so if they added that, um, because frame rate, frame rates like totally change the way a game is played the yeah. way you play the game see because okay so here's my thing originally i was actually skeptical about me getting the scorpio not that it had any problems or anything but um one of the thing was i don't own a 4k tv so that at least at first wouldn't really be yeah, a first. huge you know upgrade for me you know it might the, the 1080p might look a little bit crisper cleaner or whatever but i can tell you this right now this console is going to be lightning fast compared to the other two consoles right now. Yeah. I mean, the, the like that's the RAM speed right there. You know, 8 gigabytes compared to 12. If you look at how fast your PS4 Pro is, or how fast your Xbox One is, or Xbox One S, whatever, and that, how fast that's going, and then you kick it up another four notches, you know, it's, this thing's going to be quick. Um, my biggest fear right now is Microsoft promising too much. Are they making too high of expectations? Are they setting themselves up for potential failure? Um, I mean, I mean, according to these specs, if they're actually doing what they're saying they're going to do, um, I think they're going to totally be safe. Yeah, I think, I think they're good. And the thing is, is that they've already released kits 
for developers. Like they said this at E3, they've already released kits for developers who are developing games, so yeah, that way they can have their... it's not Project Spark, from what I understand. It's not from Project Spark. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's, uh. yeah, so the developers have the, have the Xbox Scorpio, whatever you want to call it, Project Scorpio kit in their hands right now, and they're developing their games to actually run on it. But I think another cool thing is, is that it's talking about how games will run faster and better. Even Xbox One games and 360 games will run faster and better on the Scorpio. Yeah. And that, that means not only will your system be faster, but you know, load times to get into games will be faster. Yeah. And this kind of stuff, I mean, me and Troy have noticed how much these kind of things vary. You know, I mean, like we, for the longest time, we had the exact same console, but one would load faster than the other. You know, if we were playing Call of Duty, one person would get in faster, yeah. or Destiny, or whatever. Um, and that, that's where that kind of stuff comes into, is just how fast your system is able to work. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping they don't pull out, like, Xbox One had a lot of issues at launch. Whenever the console first launched, there was issues with it being slow, with the friends list being kind of jacked. Yeah. It used to take forever to load stuff in the home screen. My thing is, is this from appearance-wise on, on, you know, looking at the uh, home screen, whatever, is it going to look just like the Xbox One, or are they going to make it more like a PC home screen? I think it's, I think it's going to be straight Windows 10. Yeah, I think it's going to be just like how my, my I run Windows 10 on my PC. Yeah, I think it's going to be dang near almost the same as them. Yeah, and as far as uh, you were talking about like making games to be, you know, fit for this resolution and all that, I think at the very least Xbox One exclusive or Xbox exclusive, Microsoft exclusive games will be, you know, 4K right off the bat. Oh yeah. Um, I think AAA games like Destiny 2, Call of Duty, all that stuff. Um, I think there will be a lot of instances where people play a game and it's just simply not rendered up to it. Yeah. You know, if they're playing a backwards compatible game or something like that. Um, but these are big shoes to fill and I really want to see them be successful. You know what I mean? We'll see. Well, we'll see. So, wish list. Okay. Two things that would totally... Come, comes with the free 4K TV. So I can actually utilize it. Okay, okay, we're not going <laughs> that far. I, I know what you're about to say, though. Uh, yeah. Alright, go ahead. What would you like to see happen with the Scorpio? Two things that you would like to see happen with the Scorpio that would make it an instant buy for you. You're asking me? Yeah, I'm asking I'm going to steal your answer. Go for it, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I the, have a bunch. The Oculus bundle. Okay. Because this is another thing that's not actually listed on this uh, spec chart, unless one of you nerds reading this can decipher this and get this out of it. Um, but uh, it's basically built to right out of the box support VR and even augmented reality. Augmented reality is uh, more like what you know Pokemon Go did, yeah. where you can like portray things in front of you into the world and all that um, crazy stuff. So it's built to kind of do that, and uh, they, we already know that there's ties between Oculus and Microsoft. Yeah. You know, there, there's a relationship there. And uh, I think there is a pretty good reason why Xbox hasn't released their own VR system like PlayStation did and, you know, Samsung and all that. Or even announced it. There, there yeah. hasn't even been a rumor. Yeah, and no if rumors. there was one, we would there would be some kind of rumor. Oh, well, we're in a day and age where leaks just yeah. come all over. You can't over hide anything Everything anymore. is leaked nowadays. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, that, that would be one huge thing for me that, you know, they would come out with some sort of package deal. Me and Troy have been talking about this, you know, maybe it, it would be kind of pricey. I, I think it'd be in the up in the $800 range. Which is okay. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, how much is an Oculus Rift now? Like five, six hundred yeah, bucks? Yeah, five or six hundred bucks. And then the Scorpio is probably gonna be five to six hundred dollars itself. Yeah, so it might be a grand. Yeah, so, I mean, regardless, you're gonna be saving money if you plan on getting both. Yeah. But I can't see myself personally dropping that right away unless I wait for a big price drop or something. Um, but, you know, that that would be one thing I would like to see. Uh, another uh, wish list item. Um, you know, along with the Steam thing, I still would like to see the Xbox Live Arcade come back. Yeah. You know, there were a lot of great games in there that we played, you know, um, freaking I made a game with zombies in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, you know, some, some of them brought back, but 
it's just an endless supply of just ridiculous games that, you know, probably aren't even on Steam, honestly. I'm sure there are games that are on arcade that aren't on Steam. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it's just kind of nice. It's, it's a really big community feature. The Xbox One feels very professional, but it doesn't really feel like it has a lot of space for the community to put in what they want. Mm -hmm. You know, so that would be two things I would like to see. All right. Um, one thing that I would like to see is uh, I, w I would like to see more games cross-playing with PC. Mm. Yeah. I would like to see that happen, that's especially cool. with a console that's supposed to be very PC-like, meaning that I would like to see people be able to play with mouse and keyboard on the Scorpio. You're, you're asking for something risky there. I'm, I know. You're, you really I are. Know. There's, there's a lot of people out there, especially in the Call of Duty and Counter-Strike, Battlefield uh, yeah. world out there that, that look, whether people whether people agree or not, there is an advantage to using yeah, mouse and keyboard. There, there's an advantage, and this is what I would like to see. I would like to see those games, i.e. Call of Duty, Destiny, what, whatever, whatever PC games it may be, create playlists, mouse and keyboard playlists, and then keyboard, I mean, and then controller playlists. So if you're playing with a controller, if you choose to, you can hop in this playlist where you're yeah. playing against people with only controllers. Right. And it if you're playing with mouse and keyboard, yeah. it wouldn't be that hard. It could just so, simply so, be like, you have the right, the standard playlist and the cross play yeah. playlist. You know? Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, my main thing is that I would like to see the PC and the console world come together. Yeah. And you know, like, cause right now you can play with a with a controller on a PC. Yeah, and all, why, also why, why can't vice versa with the console? All these Microsoft exclusive for the Xbox One are also on, you know, on PC. On PC. You know, and uh, I, I wonder a little bit if uh, if if Sony is palm just wet a little bit if they you know they're worried that you know the yeah. two two of the three or I guess two of the four if you want to include Nintendo two of the four uh, big guys in the industry teaming up, yeah. you know, that's kind of singling out the other, uh, the other competition. And then on top of that, with with them, with the crossplay thing happening and the, you know, the Xbox uh, Scorpio games or whatever being able to be played on the PC, um, I would like to see that go vice versa. I'd like to see Age of the Empires on Xbox Scorpio. I'd like to see SimCity on yeah. Xbox Scorpio and yeah. you can play with mouse and keyboard. Yeah. I think that would be sweet. And those are Microsoft products. Right. Those are Microsoft games yeah. that are on PC that have never been the console. Right, and, let, and I was actually watching a video earlier about this. You know, this Xbox Scorpio, or whatever they end up calling it, um, it's gonna be stronger than a lot of base PCs. You know, it's not gonna have all the functionality, it's not gonna have the same browser, and you know, all the applications on it, the exact same, and you know, all that. But as far as like power capability, it's not gonna beat out, you know, couple thousand dollar PCs or something yeah. but it's gonna be a powerful piece of hardware that will be able to handle just about every game that they can throw at it you know that that was the hold up for a while and my PC has always been the master race is because their their capabilities are pretty much limitless yeah you know so if, if this opens up the gate for everything else then why not why not Sorry, so what's your other one all right my other one is look it's probably not gonna happen Go ahead. It's, it's not gonna happen. I can already tell you it's not gonna happen. Um, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for Microsoft, Xbox, or whatever to come out with a handheld console. <sighs> what does that have to do with Scorpio? Huh? What is <laughs> well, I mean, with, with the Nintendo Switch and, and what Nintendo's done with the Switch, um, and I'm not a big fan of the Switch, just looking at it. I may end up still getting it nah, you will. when it's cheaper. Get it. I'm not getting. I'm not getting it now. I'm, I'm definitely not paying 300 bucks. I don't think it's worth 300 bucks. But if Microsoft were to do something like that with their games, with the Xbox Scorpio, and I'm able to take my games with me, I would definitely do that. I would definitely do yeah. that. Yeah. I would pay three, four hundred bucks for a little handheld whatever that connects to my Scorpio, yeah. and then I can take it with me on the go. You know, I've, I've. I've been, I've been wanting this for years, you know, of course, but, you know, about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I would have told you it's probably never going to happen because of how much Microsoft was investing in their Windows tablets yeah. and all that stuff. But Windows tablets seem to be a little bit on the decline. 
you know, they're not as popular as they used to be. The Nokia phones stopped making Windows phones altogether, oh, yeah. if I believe correctly. Um, so, you know, if they're willing, if they're wanting to drop that and pick up something else, I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of wondering, like, what's taking them so long to at least try? Are they worried that it's gonna flop? Well, it's a big risk. It is a big risk. If it doesn't flop, like, yeah. you're making something like that, and you're making mass production, like, you could lose a lot of money if it does not sell. What if it comes out and it's called Xbox Switch? And it's literally Gosh. the exact same thing, but it just says Xbox. I see, the, thing that, the thing that has me slightly open to believing that they may, be, they may have something happening there is the fact that the Microsoft, the, 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 what is it, the Surface tablets or whatever, um, they're freaking awesome. Yeah. They're great. They're just freaking, they're very expensive. Yeah. Like, they're like getting out. A little bit more pricier than iPads nowadays. Yeah. But, well, well, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're not even really. I, I don't even hear about it much anymore. No, you don't. It used to be that they were like really backing it. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah. But they. Okay, with with Microsoft buying uh, buying Mojang, Mojang, whatever it's, the crap is called that made Microsoft uh, Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft. So they're they're working on something. Sure. We don't know what it is. You know, we but what we do know is that Minecraft Minecraft is on every single platform possible. It's yeah, on from phone, to Xbox One, yeah. Xbox One is on. Uh, is it on PS4? I think it is on the PS4. Minecraft is on the PS4. You tell me. You have I have a PS4, but I don't play Minecraft. It's on the PC. Um, it's on tablets. It's on. It's on everything, man. And it's like, what are they doing? What are they up to? You know, why why make that acquisition? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't understand why they bought. I mean, I know Minecraft's going to be around for a while, and it's going to be doing stuff. Yeah, for a long time. I mean, for yeah. one, they're making a ton of money. Yeah, they're no deal. Um, I mean, they spent a bunch of money. Oh, they did in order to get it. So it's an investment. Of some it's an money. investment. They have. They haven't made that money back yet. I can tell you that right now. No, no, I'm sure. Because they Minecraft is. Well, my as far as I'm aware, does Microsoft have, does Minecraft have microtransactions? I never played. It I don't know. My son plays it. Uh, Sorry guys, if you play Minecraft, you know me and Soul Chief. Yeah, it's just <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I have respect for Minecraft. It's just not for me. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. basically the you know video game version of playing with Legos. Yeah, that and Goat Simulator. I oh, I like Goat Simulator. <laughs> I like Goat Simulator too. It's just I can't. I, I can play it for about twenty minutes. Then yeah, I have to take a break. Then I'm from like, yes. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, but anyways, we want to hear your thoughts on this. You know, if, if you're an Xbox One owner, or if you're a PS4 owner, or neither, you know, where is this pushing you? Which direction is this swaying you in? You know, is this, you know, a game changer, or is this something that you're just, you know, kind of pass on by? It's not really that big of a deal. I can understand people not wanting to upgrade. You know, some people aren't going to want to spend five, six hundred bucks on something that's going to make it a little bit faster and a little yeah. bit prettier. You know, there's some people out there that aren't going to be like that, and I can understand that. Um, but you know, if you want it and why you want it, and you know, even what you're willing to spend on it, because that's something that we're still really in the dark about. Um, but you know, uh, Troy, you have anything else you want to touch on here? I don't know. I'm just waiting for the actual release. Well, not release, but. E3 is when they're talking about, you know, revealing more about it, I'm assuming. Or? No, they're, they're, supposed to reveal, they're supposed to be a full-on reveal before E3. Okay. Because there's, Microsoft was saying, E3 is supposed to be all about the games. That means it'll probably be playable at E3 then. Maybe. Maybe it'll be playable at E3. Yeah. I know they're going to announce it, they're going to announce the name and price and all that kind of stuff before E3. Because they've gone down that road before where... Let's see what it looks like. What if it's that big? What if it's as big as the PC? My PC is unnecessarily big. I don't know why it's that big. There's not that much stuff. <laughs> you can in see it. through it. It's like hollow. Yeah, it's like it's like nothing in there. It better not be that big. Uh, that's funny. Well, you know, go ahead and stay tuned. I'm sure once we get more information, we'll be sure to let all you guys know, and uh, you know, we'll uh, pass the information on to y'all, and you know, do some, uh, you know, forever doing a live stream or something. We can chat about it a little bit with you guys, and uh, yep. you know, we'll uh, continue that up. Um, Hope you guys are enjoying all the Madden videos this guy's been pumping out. I know those have been doing very well. I want to thank you guys for the support. Uh, also, Troy, do you want to tell everybody about the, uh, the GoFundMe? Oh, that's right. Um, we started a GoFundMe page uh, to 
pretty much get things that we need um, for streaming and making our channel better for you guys so we can bring you guys better content um, based upon how much you give there are different rewards um, go and check out the page um, the link is in the description below um, click on that hit it up see what it's like um, we appreciate um, anything you guys have to offer and uh, yeah please subscribe um, check us out on Facebook Twitter Instagram uh, Twitch all that kind of stuff we're live streaming everywhere Josh for them, for Josh can go on hard on Twitch man. I know Josh is on Twitch like all the time yeah you guys go check you guys Josh are wondering out. Josh isn't dead he's not dead he's just married he got married <laughs> yeah when so. people mar get married they tend to disappear <laughs> That's okay though. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, yeah, check that stuff out. Thanks again for the support. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for a whole lot more. And we will see you guys online. Peace out, guys.